Okay, so we know we're frustrated. We're frustrated by a system that doesn't seem to want to work for us. We know you're frustrated. We know you're frustrated when you hit roadblocks. You don't know why it's so difficult sometimes to get help. They told you it was okay to get help, but yet they're putting roadblocks in front of you. You talk to one person on the phone, they say one thing. You talk to another person on the phone, on the other phone, and they say something else, and that's frustrating. But you know you're smart, and you know that when it comes to your healthcare, you have a choice. But what you don't know yet is that there's a clinic that can help you. And that clinic is the Stephen A. Cohen Cl Military Family Clinic at the Veterans Village of San Diego. Hi guys, I'm Jim Stanger, and I have with me Andrew Bertucci, Corinne Zilnicki, and Katie Diener. And today, our uh, project is to show you our campaign plan, our public relations campaign plan, which is going to help you reach more people in the active duty military spouse network and active duty military members and to be the one that they turn to when they end up being frustrated by the system. So Jenny Lynn, during our initial call, you identified that you wanted to reach out to um, military spouses and more military family members. So we took that challenge um, to conduct a lot of informal research by doing a lot of reading, Pew Research Center, Department of Defense study after Department of Defense study on the issue. And we basically confirm that your suspicions are absolutely accurate, that you have a phenomenal opportunity here to reach more active duty spouses and active duty military members in San Diego. Um, when we turned our initial research toward focusing on some questions that we wanted to answer, we basically identified two key questions. Um, why don't military family members and military members seek help? And then in San Diego, in a city like San Diego, which has the highest concentration of active duty military members in, of any city in the country, why do you not have more referrals for active duty military family members and active duty military? Um, some of our initial research can be found on page five to seven uh, in your book. So to answer those questions, we conducted primary research, including an online survey, in-depth interviews, and a competitor analysis. With our survey, we reached out to active duty service members and spouses living in Southern California, because as you said in our initial meeting, these are the people that the Cohen Clinic wants to gain as clients. So that's who we targeted. All told, we recorded 88 uh, complete surveys for data analysis. And we designed our survey to measure knowledge, attitudes, and involvement in mental health issues. Um, we also specifically measured the respondents' perceptions of and awareness of the Cohen Clinic specifically. Detailed survey results can be found starting on page 13 of our book, but I'm going to go over the big highlights here. The first one is that active duty service members and spouses had high levels of knowledge about military, excuse me, mental health issues, services, uh, which is good, but they were very unfamiliar with the Cohen Clinic. Um, but that just shows us that we have room to grow and uh, it helps us hone in on one of the potential problems that might be um, preventing people from finding the Cohen Clinic. Now, in terms of attitudes, both military spouses and service members had positive attitudes about seeking mental health treatment, which was really encouraging to see. We also found that overall, the active duty community uh, feels moderately involved in mental health in fact, 42% of our respondents said that they often talk to friends and family about mental health issues. So despite unawareness about the Cohen Clinic, uh, both spouses and service members reported having moderate motivation to spread the word about the clinic and its services, which is really great for us because um, even though they don't yet know about the Cohen Clinic, the will is there. They want to tell people about it. So maybe all we have to do or part of what we have to do is put that information in their hands. And as part of our primary research, we wanted to conduct some interviews to get some personal anecdotes from military uh, health professionals and active duty service members. So we conducted three interviews, two of which were with military uh, health professionals and one with an active duty service member who was actively seeking mental health uh, services. And in talking with the military uh, health professionals, we found three key findings that we wanted to share with you. And the first one is that there is a shortage of mental health professionals at military hospitals. And the second is about the TRICARE referral process. The TRICARE referral process, you know, 
that's messy and confusing, but what we learned in these interviews is that service members are offered seven referral free mental health visits uh, to clinics that are in the TRICARE system. So we saw this as an opportunity for you to get Cohen registered in TRICARE to help gain more clientele and to meet that goal. Uh, the third was actually more of a recommendation and that was to connect and network with uh, the Chief's Mess and other senior enlisted military leaders on the waterfront. And, you know, by connecting with them and increasing their knowledge about the clinic, you know, in turn, they will help advocate uh, to their service members that Cohen is another viable, you know, alternative mental health uh, treatment option. And in our third interview with the active duty, active duty service member, um, that one was the most shocking and raw interview I think that we conducted. You know, that one really showed us what threats there are facing active duty service members. Um, and that came down to two, two threats. Um, the first one being the TRICARE referral process. Uh, just the fact that it's just, you know, delays the process for service members to be able to get the help that they are actively wanting to get. And the second is stigmas. You know, we, we were able to see through this interview how much stigmas are still prevalent in the military. And to quote the service member uh, from the interview, you know, he was told on many, many occasions F your feelings, it's just about the mission. I mean, that, that quote alone kind of sums up the obstacles and challenges that service members are facing when they're actively trying to seek mental health uh, treatment. So from these interviews, we found you know, opportunities uh, for you and also found you know, the challenges and obstacles that are in place in keeping service members from getting the help that they need. Our last part of our research was our competitor analysis. And so our team looked at four providers that were similar to Cohen. So we have the Navy Medical Center of San Diego, the San Diego uh, VA, and then we have Military One Source, um, and then the Wounded Warrior Project. Um, now we know that Military One Source doesn't actually provide uh, care. It more serves as like a directory, but we found that when we went there, uh, that it actually does direct people to Cohen Clinic for mental health care in the San Diego area, which was great. Uh, but again, we found that uh, Cohen was not listed on the TRICARE website. Now, Cohen provides unique care that uh, we couldn't find on other facilities, and that's uh, like treating sleep disorders, and then also the child and family therapy that we think is really important. And lastly, the starkest difference that we found is that uh, Cohen only uh, admits active duty service members if they're with a family member or a spouse. So our team really wanted to capitalize on these uh, strengths and opportunities that we found in our research. So we really wanted to focus on um, the healthcare that you offer, and then also the fact that family members and spouses don't need a referral to be seen at Cohen. And as Jim mentioned in the introduction that San Diego has the largest population of active duty service members in the country. Uh, so this is a really great way to reach a large audience. Uh, and lastly, we know that uh, COVID may seem like it may uh, hinder a PR campaign, but we're actually going to use this to our advantage because it really makes mental health care like you provide more relevant to those journalistic news values. So analyzing the situation allowed us to come up with an overall campaign goal, which is to strengthen the connection between your clinic and the local active duty community. Now, in order to reach this goal, we devised three main objectives. The first is to increase the percentage of active duty clientele at the clinic. The second is to raise awareness of the clinic. And the third is to increase the positive word of mouth about the clinic, all within the, the local active duty community. Um, with our objectives in place, we turn to figuring out the target publics for you and for this campaign. Who should we be talking to specifically and who do you really need to prioritize communicating with? Well, our research far and away showed us that your primary public is active duty spouses. This group is at risk for mental health issues. They face barriers to treatment and most importantly, the Cohen Clinic offers spouses the wider range of services, not active duty service members. So while the service members themselves are, of course, still important and an important part of the process, it makes sense to focus on the spouses um, in particular. So with our target publics defined and our objectives in place, we crafted themes and messages to help reach them and communicate with them. Now, a full list can be found on page 31 in your book, uh, but I will mention the, the main three themes we came up with, which are you are in control of your mental health care. 
military healthcare providers can help navigate the system and leaders and stigmas. So with our research and planning completed, we then jumped right into our implementation phase. And that is what we're really excited today to really show you and talk to you about. Uh, so we broke down the implementation phase into four strategies. Um, the first one being housekeeping, uh, a campaign, uh, a social media campaign, media relations and outreach, and an influencer uh, outreach as well. So the first one, housekeeping. Uh, that one has two unique tactics and you know, they can be found on uh, appendix uh, page number 99. But the two main things that we want to talk to you about is how um, we want to talk to you about is the uh, how you need to clarify the language on the Cohen website. And, you know, some additional things that we wanted to add there was a, an FAQ section that helps address specific questions to uh, active duty service members and their families. And the second, as discussed in the that we learned from the interviews is getting Cohen into TRICARE. You know, that'll help streamline the referral process and help active duty service members and their spouses find you as that mental health uh, treatment option. We're also recommending a coordinated social media campaign involving both the social media pages that you currently operate and a paid advertising approach. Uh, this coordinated campaign is going to do its best to associate the clinic with San Diego. When we were brainstorming, um, you know, where we wanted to take this campaign, we decided that your strongest asset is that you're located in beautiful San Diego. And Jenny Lynn, when we met, I believe you referenced that you might want to see some more palm trees um, in your ads. And in the time since we've met and now, I've actually had an opportunity to visit uh, the San Diego Zoo because it's one of the only things that's open. So we gave you some beach scenes, um, the Coronado Bridge, and of course, flamingos as well. So I hope you're happy with that. Um, all of this can be found on page 106 um, and on in the annex um, of your book. Um, but I wanted to highlight that with paid social media advertising on a daily basis, now this is daily, you can reach 8,400 to 24,000 people in our key publics. Again, that is a day. So that is huge. You're going to get your message out to your key publics by paying for some advertising. Uh, with direct calls to action like learn more and contact us, we're going to drive uh, referrals or rather new clients to your pages, to your social media pages, uh, to your website. So speaking of those social media pages that you currently um, operate, we're recommending on page 108 of your book that you join in the share of voice and join in the conversation with Mental Illness Awareness Week. So last year, uh, the Cohen Clinic of San Diego posted a few things about uh, aligning with Mental Illness Awareness Week. So we wanted to build off of that because there's likely some familiarity with your audience already on social media. A week occurs from October 4th through 10th, uh, and it's sponsored by Mental Health America. So we want to focus on a, several themes, but I'll draw a couple of them out here for you right now. Um, my teammates have already mentioned, though, um, no referral needed. That's key. Um, couples therapy is also key. Uh, child care uh, services, rather child counseling, uh, is very important, and we think that's what makes you unique. And then, of course, hashtag end the stigma. And we are recommending in your budget that you pay to boost these posts as well. So again, you can share in more of that voice. Now, media outreach is another great way to expand your reach and reach a wider audience. Um, so with that in mind, we designed several pitches to local television news stations, to newspapers, and podcasts. Now, uh, we recommend that when you're um, talking to and pitching your story to the news media, that you focus on Cohen's COVID story. That is all of the amazing things that your clinic has done during this pandemic, um, especially telehealth. Because using this um, timely frame to put your story out there is gonna garner more media attention, more coverage. It's extremely relevant right now. And so we need to show off the great stuff that your clinic has been doing. Now, we also identified three prominent military spouse podcasts. Um, and really, this is for Jenny Lynn. This is for you because of your unique background, your personal history, and your professional experience now. We think that you would be the perfect person to go on these uh, really popular podcasts that we found and tell your story and tell the Cohen Clinic story um, as well. So we, we listened to quite a few episodes of these podcasts to get a feel for their style. And then we drafted some pitches accordingly for you. So our inner, inner 
influencer outreach targets two groups. We have our active duty influencers and then we have our uh, medical military influencers. And some of this was really inspired by our interviews that showed how much our military leaders can really affect mental health care. And so we honed in on four groups. So we have our ombudsman, um, our family readiness groups, our chief's mess and our spouse groups. And we wanted to make this as uh, realistic and executable as possible. So we made sure that we kept COVID in mind. So you'll see that we designed some Zoom backgrounds for you and some graphics for virtual coffee meetings and sessions. And our other group is our military medical providers. And this really provides a great resource for you to reach that target audience. And so what we suggest is that you reach out to our uh, local healthcare or local military healthcare providers, and you set up an informational table in their staff parking lot. And those, this is also keeping in mind COVID so we can kind of create that safe outdoor space. Um, and so, but how do we get those military healthcare providers to the table? And that is free stuff. And so we've included some promotional items for you, a swag bag, if you will, and an outdoor setup. And so our influencer outreach is really trying to uh, gain that knowledge and awareness that we found that was lacking during our research. So we're fairly confident with the tactics and strategies that we're recommending to you that you are going to be successful at bringing in more military affiliated referrals. But we do wanna give you some tips on how to evaluate uh, the progress of your campaign over the next couple of months. So in three ways. Um, one is we'd like you to take a snapshot right now of how your current clients found out about you, if you can, whether that be through an intake form or some, some other uh, introductory level material. And then in January 2021, we'd like you to take another look, another snapshot at how they found out about you. And if you see that our um, strategies and tactics here that we're recommending were used and that uh, clients found out about you through uh, what we're recommending, uh, then we'd like you to take note of that. Um, we'd also like you to conduct a survey in January using SurveyMonkey. We've allocated $75 in the budget for you to be able to run the premium version of a SurveyMonkey. And on page 42 of your annex uh, appendix, excuse me, we have all the questions that you would need to ask to gauge whether or not we made any progress as far as knowledge of the clinic is concerned, attitudes toward mental health, and word of mouth. Um, finally, we're recommending that um, immediately after this call, you go and take a look at your social media metrics. Look at um, engagement and reach. And then again in January 2021, take a screenshot today and again in January uh, and see how much attention, um, how, many, how many more people have visited your pages and engaged with your pages that you own and operate currently. Um, a brief note on the budget, uh, you can be found on page 149. Um, and we are coming in right under the budget that Jenny Lynn, you provided to us when we first met. So. All of the things that we've told you to do today can be broken down into pretty much four recommendations. Influencers are influential. We want to get you in front of the people who are in front of the people who you want to help. Social media sells. Simply put, don't be afraid to spend a little bit of money on social media advertising and we promise you will get results. Stand out. Your clinic is unique in San Diego and you offer services as we've um, mentioned in our competitor analysis that not a lot of other places are. So we think in any engagements that you're having that you really need to focus on what makes you different. And then finally, we want you to be the one. Be the one that that frustrated spouse or military member turns to in their time of need so that you can truly help them because we know that you can. So thank you very much and we'll be happy to answer any questions that you may have.